Um, indoor percussion is a combination of marching band and musical theater. Uh, we have the drum line, which is the snares, the tenors, the basses, and the cymbals. We have dancers. Uh, some groups don't. And then we have a group up front we call the, the front ensemble of the pit. And that's where we have all our concert instruments, uh, marimbas, vibraphones, xylophones. Um, any kind of percussion instrument is up in the, the front ensemble. Dartmouth just has a very unique culture. You know, there's nothing really that goes on here that we don't try to do at a really high level. You know, a lot of that really comes from the top down. That really starts from Tom, making sure that he works the kids, the staff, himself, all to a really high level. And that's, that just trickles down. The kids work hard, the staff works hard, he works harder than all of us. Uh, technically, uh, physically, mentally, I mean, you gotta, you got to be really on your game. And we are, the, the technique part starts in May. When I'm starting for marching band, uh, we use the marching band in the summer and all that to, to prepare for indoor. You know, when we learn the drill for marching band, it's very physical. So we talk about, okay, this is kind of your training for indoor. Um, you know, when the kids come to rehearsal, they spend uh, a good half hour, 40 minutes stretching, and you know, they'll do some physical training. You know, practice is really the foundation. You know, uh, whether it's practicing individually, practicing as a group, practicing in here in the gym with the dancers and everyone, uh, it's the foundation that we build everything on. We, we try to prepare for the first co competition as it's like the last one. You know, I like, I like to be good from the first show to the end. Now, we're not going to have everything in, but I want people to think that we do. Um, but I think it's important. I mean, people are paying money to come see groups perform, and I, I think we should be at a level where people are impressed. And so I like, I tell the kids, I, I want to be good. I don't want to go out there and just barely get out there. I want to, I want to like kind of wow people from the beginning. For us, the first competition really sets the bar. And not just for the group, it sets the bar for a lot of the local groups in our activity. So today is a show day. Uh, we started with two hours, three hours of rehearsal. Uh, the show is about six hours after the rehearsal time, so it, gave, it gives us a lot of time to like hang out and then get dressed and put our makeup on and get ready for the show. And uh, this is our home show, so it's kind of like the most nerve-wracking show of all of them this year. Uh, we, we had uh, two run-throughs in the past two days, and. They're both really good. I mean, they both had big problems, but you know, they were really good. I mean, when we actually like dish out all this energy, it, it feels really great, even though there are plenty of mistakes and there's plenty of progress to be made.
was awesome, man. It was, there was so much energy in it that I'm not even tired right now. I barely broke a sweat during the show. It was so much fun. The show was great. There was a lot of energy. The kids really came across really well. The audience loved it, so you can't ask for anything better. Our goal for the first show is to get it out there, see if it has effect, see if it has emotional impact for the audience. And it definitely does. There's obviously parts that we need to work on. But I was just telling the kids, if we make the show too easy, by the end it's boring. So right now it's overly challenging, but the effects are there. It'll only get better. It was great. The audience reacted ex exactly the way we kind of expected them to, at the right spot. So, I mean, show design-wise, everything's where it needs to be. Now it's just a matter of cleaning it up and getting it ready for the big show. Cool. Cool. Uh, I think it was awesome. The the energy from the crowd and the performers ourselves, like, it was just awesome. There's a few little things, but I think the energy just like went over all that and it was amazing. In first place with a score of 92.15. That's 92.15, our host, Dartmouth High School. for their first time out. Um, I think it sounded great. I think it looked good. Obviously, the score was reflective of that. Um, I think it was a very good first effort. Excellent. Visual musicians, I call them. They, in this business, you, you're able to watch music. In Dartmouth, you can really watch music. Most people can just listen to music. We're lucky enough to be able to watch it, which is fortunate. Uh, I love Dartmouth's show. Um, I liked uh, their back kind of thing, you know. Um, great tenor line, lots of fast drill. I think the strength is the way they surrender to the audience. They're not pretentious, and it really comes across as you become empathetic to the group. You want to love them, and when they rock, it's even that much better. So Yeah, they'll be in the uh, top three, at least, if, if not winning. They got a, they got a great shot. Thank <laughs> you.